Our downtown is a historic downtown that's had people coming here for over 250 years. We have wonderful historic attractions. We have over 30 places to eat, over 50 places to shop, interesting museums, a beautiful library. A lot to offer people, whether they're tourists or locals, people who want to live in the area, people looking for a great place to visit. Every time I come down here, there's something going on, and I'm down here a lot, probably multiple times a week even. There's beer festivals that I've been to, movies on the walking mall, I've been to concerts down here, and then the new splash pad that they added for kids. There's just activities for everyone, and no matter what mood you're in, there's something for you to do. I've always had a special place in my heart for Winchester, and I've always loved the downtown area. I've always thought it was just an amazing space. I think it's got a little bit of something for everybody. It's gone through this wonderful transformation in the last several years. And we're bringing people down here right and left to be at the events that they're having, the, the, the movie series that they've been doing, the Blue Mock concert series, what they're doing over at Bright Box, uh, the beer festivals and wine festivals. The more people that come down here and realize what downtown Winchester has to offer, I think it benefits everybody. I think that the walking mall is vital to the downtown because it lets people slow down and sort of appreciate the businesses that are down here uh, and the architecture in a way that you really can't just driving through a, a historic town. I like Winchester because there's a strong sense of community here and it's naturally beautiful, the, the surrounding area as well as the town itself. We love Old Town Winchester. We love the people that we get to meet from everywhere. Every day we get somebody new. It's really exciting to me. Um, the feel, the historic value. Every building has a different charm to it and um, you have a lot of questions from outside people that want to know about the history of your building and, and it's, that's the charming part of it. It's just a great mix of businesses and that to me is what's going to draw people. And I know a lot of times people will think, you know, we have great restaurants, but we also have great small independent retail shops too that are different than other places. And so to be able to, to make friends and meet new people that are local and you go to a ball game and you see your customers and you talk to them and you know all about them, you know about their kids and what they do and what they play. That's, that's probably the best part of doing business in Old Town Winchester. You know, I consider downtown Winchester as a little oasis. Locally, I do a lot of paintings in, of, of the downtown scenes. and. People love the history. So many people are in touch with the Civil War and uh, certainly realizing the, the rich Revolutionary War history we have here too. So that little bit of history goes a long way and it keeps on uh, giving back to the community. The Winchester community is a very diverse area. It's the culturally rich. Uh, the downtown's always been a vibrant area, hence our longevity. We've been in the Winchester area as a business uh, for 83 years. There's been more economic activity in the last couple of years as people come to realize what is here and start to invest in the area. We have a real downtown core, unlike some towns. And uh, there's a lot of history which makes this town very unique from the standpoint all the way from the 1740s where George Orson was here nine years, first elected office, was representing Winchester House of Purchase. It has French and Indian War history. Of course, during the Civil War, the town changed hands many, many times, more so than any other town I'm told that, you know, in the country. So people like to flock and come in here and look around and see the history and live the history. It, it's great living in Winchester from the standpoint of the ability to go ahead and to live close by and be able to work downtown, play downtown, and be able to go home 
and not have to spend half your day in the car. We came to the area because Ruston is just too hustle and bustle. And we wanted to find the best of both worlds. So Winchester, with the diversity that they have, you know, the hidden treasures that I find all the time is just phenomenal. And I couldn't be happier in the area where I'm at. And the people are just great and warm and inviting. There's so much packed into this one strip here. You can find anything from pastry pizzas to Thai food to sushi to really, really good Italian food. And with the renovation of the Old Town Mall and the Walking Mall, it has just turned into this incredibly vibrant neighborhood that I, it's just made this such a really, really interesting dynamic for uh, young people to, you know, all people to come down and, and hang out and make it kind of Winchester's dining room. There's literally something for everybody down here. We can go to Winchester and have access to excellent food, great shopping, we can go play on the Shenandoah, we can go to Skyline Drive, we can go see the battlefields. There's so much here to do, and it's just a matter of, of getting people aware of that. So raising the local awareness you know, among the people in Winchester and Frederick County, but also bringing it to the people you know, in Northern Virginia and the D.C. area. What a great place to get away for a weekend, to get out of the hustle and bustle of D.C. I just, you know, I can't, I, that to me is what this whole area is about.